Hey guys! This you see here is the result after applying a gradient map to our volume. Now go to this win window over here and play around with different gradients. I've selected this one, but you can move the handles to try out the different colors and select the one you like. In my case I've opted for a warm color palette, since it resembles to a crab's color and also because I think orange and purple fit in quite well. Do you like it? As I said, you can use any other color palette. Regarding the rest, we just need to add different shadows and lights using the colors of the palette. And regarding the brushes, play around with the different options until you find the one you prefer. In case you are comfortable with a particular brush, you can use it at the beginning and then change it. Another thing I wanted to mention is the layers of Photoshop and the blending modes. So, I'm going to use them to color the metallic areas and the color blend mode for those areas I want to create a now your own effect. So guys, remember that we wanted to give our robot these effects, this metallic and iron effect. So we are going to use these tools to get it. The lighting effects are also quite warm, so it will have a neutral tone. And well, that's all. Now you'll see the speed painting and see how I painted my robot and added different light sources. Uh, let me remind you before that to add the shadows you need to open a new layer and select the miniature by pressing Ctrl. This way we'll be working only with the drawing and we won't paint outside it. And the same with the screen layer in, in Photoshop. Just keep working and checking the result. Well, we've reached the end of the course. Thank you very much for joining me. And again, if you have any doubt, leave it on the forum and I will answer it as soon as possible. I'm looking forward to seeing your projects and I invite you to participate and share your work with us. But most importantly, enjoy it. Thank you again and see you soon.